Hello, one and all, and welcome to Let's Play FTL. I'm Nye, and last episode we have successfully completed all of the Slug Cruiser's achievements. Which means we got we're in position, which should have been a lot easier than it was. We also got uh, Home Sweet Home. Now, me and Trans were talking about two episodes back, about... Maybe a little bit more than that, maybe three episodes back. About getting that uh, we're in position achievement and the fact that I was never seeing Crew Teleporter. This is what was sad as soon as I unlocked the Type B. The Type B starts the Crew Teleporter, so if I had just gotten that Home Sweet Home achievement on my own, this would have paid for itself. But, uh, I'm gonna pass the Stormwalker for now. I'll... I'll put it this way. We're gonna be playing the, uh... Sheevan for a while now, and eventually I'm gonna want to play something else if I don't, you know, get the, uh... Uh, Crystal Cruiser quickly. So... <laughs> we're we're gonna want we're gonna want to have something else to play, uh, and remember I have sort of pledged to beat the game with every ship, so the Stormwalker will eventually get attention. Okay, well that was a good first jump, gave us some free stuff, and I'm all about the free stuff. I'm okay with getting uh, something without having to pay for it. This could be a little bit obnoxious, like it always is. I mean, this is uh, I should probably get my men in position. This is always one of those fights that's obnoxious, having to fight against the uh, Zoltan cr uh, Cruiser in the middle of an asteroid belt, uh, simply because it gets a couple of free attacks on you, and you don't get the uh, same. Let's go get, get this guy in here to go ahead and fix that. Already taking damage to our uh, to our shields. Let me go ahead and take these guys down a little peg or two. So the name of the game right now is simply Crystal. That's it. That's all we have left. Uh, yes, I do still need to pick up uh, the um, Weapons Pre-Igniter achievement, but honestly, I don't anticipate that happen anytime soon. So, Crystal is the plan. Plenty of fuel, drone parts, and scrap. Pretty happy about that. Let's go ahead and get ourselves out of here. Skip the store, because we just don't have enough scrap to make it worthwhile, and instead we'll jump directly into a sun. But, you know what? Fine. At this point, we are basically playing for the sake of playing, uh, and just hopefully gonna get the Crystal Crew member eventually, hopefully sooner rather than later. That was bad. You go ahead and go fix that. So what am I gonna want on this run? Well, a Weapons pre would be nice, and of course Crystal Crew member, uh, but that's of course basically obvious in and of itself. Uh, what I'd really like to see, I want to get a door control on this one just so I can stop the fires from spreading so easily on this ship. That's always a pain, especially when that happens. But uh, definitely gonna want to uh, see about a weapon pre-igniter. Gonna want to see door control. Um, maybe a crew teleporter. I'm not sold on the crew teleporter yet, just because we we, we didn't do that every time. But uh, you know, cloaking device, I would never say no to. Uh, and then you know, hopefully some really nice, uh, really nice weapons. Uh, I don't know. Go ahead and get a friendly here. Got a human that can join me. Let's just throw him into the uh, med bay right now. Power up our shields. But yeah, we uh, we kind of have less in the way of goals on this run than we usually do. Actually, you know what? Don't need to do that. We have kind of less in the way of goals. We got no achievements uh, that we really have to get other than the standard stuff, and uh, that's it. So. We're just going to kind of enjoy ourselves in this run. That's actually nice. You know, now that, now that I'm thinking about it, putting it through my head, it's kind of nice to have no particular goal, to have nothing that I really badly need to do, that it's just sort of, let's make some progress. I think just about every, uh... Yeah, just about every episode up until this point has been, let's make a lot of progress, let's make sure this happens. And while we're still out there, while I'm still, you know... Aiming for that 100% completion that I kind of said we were going to be going for uh, some time ago. Uh, well, I'm still aiming for that, of course. Uh, we do still have, um... Attack this automated ship, I'm okay with that. Well, we still have that going for us. I still have this whole feeling of, uh... I can relax and sort of enjoy myself. And I like that, I like that feeling. Ow! Okay, let's get our weapons back online. Luckily, the Heavy Pierce only uses two shots. Uh, two, two shots. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. It only uses two power and only needs two power. So even though our weapons did take a little bit of a hit, uh, we're still good. 
Already at level 2 shields, I still have a couple of jumps left to go in this sector, so I'm hoping to hit the level 4 engines, which is going to be my next, uh, uh, my next, you know, goal, next waypoint. Investigate the station, awesome. Go ahead and upgrade engines a little bit. Well, let's go ahead and hit this one, why not? What are we going to find here? Uh, reject their offer and destroy their weapons. Sounds like a great idea. Now, these guys do have a few more weapons than usual. Uh, more weapons than I would really appreciate seeing. So I'm really hoping that uh, we're going to be able to take those down pretty quick here. I do like that uh, they missed both shots. going to go ahead and turn auto fire on because we're not running anything right now that auto fire would interrupt. Damn. I got my sensors again. My sensors seem to take a lot more shots than uh, than you'd find normal, honestly. It feels like each ship has this one spot where everyone shoots. On this uh, ship, it seems to be the sensors. On uh, the Bulwark, it seems to be the O2. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'd pick up the crew teleporter if it was an option. But, uh, I, you know, I don't know. Okay, what do we find? Uh, missiles, drone parts, and of course the ever-important scrap. Okay, so I have the... I have the space for... Oh, that's not good. Well, let's go ahead and fight this thing. Yeah, I'm... Mostly unconcerned about this. I, have a, I don't think we're going to take any damage from this. Well, let's see. Definitely think we're going to hit the level 4 engine's uh, mini requirement. You know, it's not like a requirement requirement. It's not one of those times where I go, man, if I don't get level 4 engines, we're boned. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's one of those... What's the word I'm looking for? Waypoint? No. Landmark? I guess landmark would be the uh, term I would want to use for that. Excellent. That takes care of that. And go ahead and fire off that heavy pierce. Excellent. Okay. Missile, drone parts, and scrap. Go ahead and pop that back into engines and go ahead and jump down here. Exploring as much as humanly possible, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and... At this point, I don't feel as if uh, using these guys to delay the rebels would be a particularly amazing idea. Yeah, we could do it, but I don't think it would help us much. Not at this point in the uh, in this sector. But I'm going to have to remember to use it, especially when we get to the Zoltan sectors. Uh, you know, whatever whatever sectors I'm in where I'm going to be, you know, potentially picking up the, uh, uh, picking up a Crystal Crew member or what have you. Uh, whatever that's going to be, I definitely want to make sure to use any ability I can to push the Rebels back. That's what we're going to be hoping for. Just two more damage to take care of. For some reason, I don't know, I keep on thinking the heavy pierce is a heavy laser, or, no, sorry, heavy uh, beam, and that I should only be dealing one damage per hit. Put some power in there, excellent. Gonna have to make the next jump. Wanted to hit that one spot right there, but I would have to fight my way out for the next couple of jumps, and that's, you know, obviously not worth it. Uh, damn. Go hit this distress beacon. The end of this sector is not built quite to uh, my specifications. Go ahead and lead these guys to their destination in the next sector and go to the exit. Something good here? Demand the surrender of their goods. Excellent. I love it when thing I love when a plan comes together, I really do. Let's go ahead and heavy pierce to their cockpit, make sure these guys are not able to run away from me. Now that uh that scares me just a little bit. Yeah, it took a little bit of damage, but uh, Heavy Pierce should be able to take down their weapons on the next shot. Excellent. Let's take out their engines next. They're probably going to fix their cockpit before Heavy Pierce fires again, if I had to make a guess. Apparently not, and I'm okay with that. Finish taking their weapons offline. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put power back in O2, because I do not need O2 to, uh, down anymore. Weapons offline. One more shot will do it. And hopefully this will give me uh, plenty of scrap so I can get the power to uh, finish activating my engines. I only need two scrap, so definitely going to happen. Yep, ten scrap, plenty of fuel, plenty of missiles. Excellent. Okay, I needed seven scrap, but hey, we got what we need. Let's go to the next sector. What do we look like? 
not a fan of this map. Uh, I don't feel like this map's actually going to do much that's good for me. I'm going to go ahead and go to the civilian sector, and we're going to try to build up... Um, let's write down that quest marker. going to try to build up scrap, get ourselves a strong ship so that we don't have to worry about losing in any of the uh, succeeding jumps from this point. Okay, it's a shop. And that's... There's, there's no value in this for me. That's really annoying. There's nothing here that I can do. Uh, which sucks. That is probably the worst reward I could have gotten from that particular quest line. Let's go ahead and defend this outpost, pop a shot directly into this guy's weapons, and work from there. <laughs> awesome! Weapons offline. Let's go ahead and get rid of his, uh, engines to make sure that he has no dodge chance from here on out. Perfect. Okay, well that's basically that for that fight. I love fights like this. So I think the next thing I'm gonna need, I'm gonna go ahead and start saving up scrap because definitely gonna need uh, shields, of course, engines, the usual stuff. But I also need more weapons because the heavy pierce is only gonna really last me for probably this. Uh, awesome. Yeah, the heavy pierce is only gonna be good for me for probably this sector, and then I'm gonna start having problems with it. Gonna have it teleport onto my ship. Good, they are fighting me in the middle of my med bay. Which is basically the ideal place to have a fight, for me at least. Let's go ahead and take down their weapons. Yeah, they're not doing much. Gonna power down their uh, teleporter, just because I don't want these guys leaving. I want them to go down. I want to give the enemy something they need to repair, other than their weapons. But weapons are gonna be next. That guy got so lucky that he was able to teleport off, I'll tell you what. Okay. Wait for Heavy Pierce. Perfect. And one more shot's gonna take these guys out, and I got no problem with that. How's our weapons guy doing? That's, uh... Ferris is doing pretty well. Halfway to rank up. And two fuel and twelve uh, salvage till scrap. Not the ideal scrap. I could have done a little bit more. Uh, let's go ahead and help this guy with his drone parts. Distress beacon here. Hoping for something big at this distress beacon. Get on the surface to investigate. Invite the survivor to join my crew. That gives me a second human. Let's see what the store has for me. Anything useful. Stealth weapons and an FTL recharge booster. Not useful. So we're going to go ahead and jump. I'm going to hope to get to that quest marker. Okay, this could be both good and bad. Once more, uh, fighting against these Zoltan enemies. I think we should be able to get away from this without taking much in the way of damage, because that looks like that's a... I uh, forget what laser that is. Or what beam weapon that is. Nothing that concerns me, at the very least. Take out their weapons. Perfect. I'll take out their shields next. Which, what, which beam is that? It's not the halberd. I think it's a pike beam. I think that's what that is. But yeah, um, unconcerned about this ship. They're offering me a lot of stuff, but I don't really need it. I need scrap more than anything, because uh, we really want to uh, get some good stuff going here. And there should be killed by another uh, asteroid any second now. There it is. Okay, fuel missile scrap. I'm gonna fight my way out on this one. Oh, that... Okay, only a small bomb, but pretty much worth it. Gonna fight my way out on this one just because I want to get as many jumps as I can. So I feel that uh, getting a couple extra jumps here is actually worth fighting my way out of this sector. Because I'm gonna be... Eh, well, that sucks. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on finding the Crystal Crew member for basically the remainder of the episode for as many areas as I'm going to be in. So, there's going to be several sectors where I'm not going to be focused as much on um, uh, killing ships. I am going to be focused on getting as many jumps in, you know, around the area as I can. So, it's going to be best to get as much uh, reward as I can now instead of, you know getting screwed later on. And we're pretty early in the game, so I don't think that the rebel uh, flat, the rebel ships are going to have 
too much in the way of pain for me to have to deal with. I might be wrong. Let's go ahead and take on this guy's weapons before I, uh, before I get shot. Yeah, that's what I thought that was going to be. Okay. And I do have 90 scraps kind of just sitting in my coffers, which is uh, pretty wonderful. I am Blast Mark III is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and hit up the store real quick just because it's right here. Show me something nice. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Done. Okay, let's go ahead and drop the small bomb for the Ion Blast, and uh, let's sell the Ion Blast. Excellent. No, I can't use it now. I'm setting this up for uh, a later on reward. Let's fight these guys. We did just get another human that I can work with. Um... Let's go ahead and do this. Where are these guys going to go? Okay, all three of you into that room. So I got another human. This is not amazing, I guess. Uh, Could have been a lot better. Could have gotten a mantis or something like that. But this is not exactly the worst jump I've ever had. Okay. Well, I was talking about earlier about needing some more weapons so I could actually set this up. Uh, this is about as good as I could hope for in terms of weapons. I need a little bit more power uh, to make this really work. I need about one more push into weapons, which is going to be uh, weapon control for 50, so I'm going to need a lot more scrap to make this happen. But two ion blasts, that's just insane. That's nuts. And I do have essentially a roaming gank squad again, which I always love having a roaming gank squad in my ship, uh, especially right now. Uh, this is going to be pretty excellent. Okay, what am I going to... You know, it doesn't really matter, so I'm going to go ahead and jump to this one. Reactive fighter. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, this is basically the exact opposite of an ideal jump. Both being in a uh, plasma storm and then having a really big enemy to fight like this one. I'm gonna take at least one shot off of his, uh, that's like a Hermes missile there. It's gonna take at least one shot off of it. Come on, dodge. Come on. Damn. Okay, that's fine. That is, uh, that is a fire though. I should be able to get a jump out of here, but remember, I'm going to have to fight my way out of the next area, too. I'm just going to go ahead and jump to the exit. Was it worth it? Yes. Oh, certainly worth it. Now, on the downside to this... Where was I going with this? Well, there's some intruders detected. Where are they? They're in my O2. You two go fix that. Uh, on the downside to having my ship kind of just blasted like this uh, is the fact that I'm not getting any uh, a scrap here, and I'll likely be taking damage off of this fight unless this next ion blast stops that missile from firing, which it does. You two go heal. Actually, do it that way. Okay, pretty satisfied. I like this. I like this a lot. And we're jumping. Next sector. Damn! Okay, those are rebel-controlled sectors. Basically what this means is we're not getting the Crystal Crew member here. I just, there's, we do not have the, uh... We don't have the proper jump, or uh, sector makeup for this. Got another one? Okay. Points out of there into Heavy Pierce. Heavy appears to his weapons. That concerns me. Oh, you get back in here while I'm thinking about it. As long as I can take out his weapons, I'll be fine. That's what I was hoping for. But the fact that his shields just went online is basically the exact opposite of what I was hoping for. Right now, I need that small bomb. Badly. I need to not do that. I need to do it like that. Get 
need oxygen in this ship. Need to take out this guy's shields for a while. And once his shields are out for a while, then I can swap back over to Heavy Pierce. And actually take his shields out entirely. I'm hoping that lasts long enough. Because I need those shields to remain offline for just a little while longer. Fire. Damn! That's the strategy I'm going to have to use here, is... Take his shields down for as long as possible. And then fire off a heavy pierce shot to get them offline permanently. This is going to take a little while. This is why I really wish I had enough scrap to get one more power into weapons. Because I'd have heavy ion blast... Or the Ion Blast Mark II online, in addition to Heavy Pierce, and we would never worry uh, about any fight ever again, essentially. Ferris is going to be getting a lot of experience in gunning. Which is awesome. Let's let two more hits land, and then we'll switch back over to Heavy Pierce. Good, now his... Uh, Shield should be down for a good length of time. Come on, Heavy Pierce. Good. Okay, that should take his, uh, that take his shields down. Okay, not permanently. This will do that. Good. Juggling power just a little bit. Not the ideal setup, but, uh, pretty good. And we're good, we're done. That was kind of scary. I was genuinely worried about that. Good, that got that guy taken care of. Fuel missiles, 31 scrap. Uh, that's a pretty sizable uh, haul from that. And of course it is. Gonna risk it. Lost a crew member. It was one of the humans. This is gonna sound horrible, but I can live with losing a human at this juncture. Definitely gonna attack this guy. I'm gonna take some damage here, I think. Depending on how fast that, uh, yeah. Okay, Heavy Pierce, can you please take care of that? You two, go fix that. His weapons are offline for the most part. The th weapons I would care about are offline. I'll put it that way. Let's go ahead and fire at that uh, cloaking device. Damn, I was actually hoping to stop just that. But it's fine. If I get three more uh, points into weapons, no ship that the enemy can throw at me will ever bother me again. Not sure we just disconnected, but that's cool. Okay. Investigate the station, get a bunch of rewards, go ahead and put some points to power because I badly need it at this point. And I'm going to gradually make my way up to that Distress Beacon. Attempt to follow them and help them. Got some Loyalists that we have to fight, but that's cool. Need a shot off the Ion Blast, please. Good. Heavy Pierce should fire. I'm not going to be able to beat that uh, missile out the gate. Which sucks, because I'm going to take some damage because of it. But their weapons are going to be essentially offline for a while. Good. Go ahead and take out their engines. I do not have to worry about their about their shields, or basically shields on any ship whatsoever, basically from this point onwards. Uh, as long as I'm able to land the first couple of shots, I'll be good. And then I was doing this, and it'll be permanent down for them. I'm not going to accept surrender. And then for future ships, we'll be able to, when I'm able to get my ship upgraded to have two Ion Blast Mark IIs, uh, we'll be able to cause some absolutely terrifying damage. Now, the ideal here would be to have... Now, I'm not even sure what my ideal build at this point would be. Because I don't really need a crew teleporter now. Not with this setup. Let's go ahead and send a rock crew member in. Contact survivors. Get stealth weapons. Okay, so that's going to make uh, a um, cloaking device real nice looking for a while. Nicer than it already looks, is the uh, way I'm going to put that. 
Heavy Pierce needs to go ahead and fire. Weapons partially offline. Gonna take that hit. That's fine. I can live with two damage. That's your, they're not gonna do any more. Right now, we need to build up scrap because I, if I can get that, uh, if I can get that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Do do do. Word I'm looking for. If I can get that cloaking device, we are going to be in god mode. Because we have stealth weapons, which means my ion blast can be fired with impunity. As long as I'm invisible, I won't take any damage. Uh, it'll be just amazing. And especially because our Ion Blast is now firing just super fast, and my Heavy Pierce fires fast as well. I should be fine for the foreseeable future. It's a pretty good run. Shield them. Get rewards. Do I have a store? Okay, I don't want to go up there. I want to go down here so I can get as much jumps as I can before we uh, exit the sector. Defend this outpost. And same strategy. Okay, so what do I want right now? Well, I want to see a store that's definitely on my list of to-dos. Damn, I can't believe I missed. I can't believe how little I care that I missed. I mean, this... Depending... I could potentially take just what I have now and take it to victory already. Uh, the firebomb is right now the weak link on this ship. So I really would like to get rid of the firebomb in favor of something I could swap to instead of the heavy pierce. Remember, though, the maximum power that you can get in a uh, in a system is eight. So the really cool stuff like, say, a glaive beam or a halberd beam is partially off the table. Mostly because, you know, I can get my ion blasts going, but I can't have two ion blasts and a glaive or a halberd firing at the same time. Now, what I could do is take two Ion Blast and a Heavy Pierce and take down an enemy's shields and then switch over to Glaive and use that to just ruin their day and then take it off Heavy Pierce. That's an option. Or take Ion Blast off and switch. Uh, those are definitely options. It's things I'm going to start looking into, but it really depends on the drops I get. Right now, I'm looking for a store. Uh, I should have enough scrap to get a uh, cloaking device after this. Yep. So I'm going to be looking... Uh, gonna be on the lookout for a store now specifically to get that cloaking device and then we're gonna start doing just standard upgrades from here on out okay you into there you into there because he's obviously going for the o2 go ahead and talk heavy pierce into their weapons missed but that's fine could take a little bit of damage here but looks like our uh, dodge chance is acceptable for this point in the game both of you can go heal I can set this up. The real thing we need to do right now is just to make sure the cockpit gets hit at some point to stop the dodge chance that the enemies have. Because enemies having dodge chance is something I'm not willing to deal with. And cockpits are usually easier to kill than engines. Excellent. Sounds like we've got a breach on their weapons. God, this feels like god mode. I know the game's gonna do something to me later on to punish me for this, but oops, accidentally accepted that uh, surrender, but that's fine. I was just gonna kill him, but... Okay, it's an AI. Let's go ahead and Ion Blast to their uh, weapons, Heavy Pierce to their cockpit. This is a ship that could potentially do a lot of damage to me if left unchecked. I do not plan to leave it unchecked. Okay, that's that. That uh, halberd beam is going to do no damage. And it won't be active for much longer either. Yep, that's the halberd beam offline. And one more shot should do it off the heavy pierce. There's that. Okay, that guy's gone. Lots of scrap. Any stores? Yes, there's a store, so let's go ahead and get that up. 208 scrap should give me just about everything I want at this store. Uh, there's the cloaking device. I was kind of trying to hold out for, um... Uh, a, uh, weapons pre-igniter. Because that could still be really nice on this ship. But, eh. 
Not gonna be taking any damage off of these guys, that's for certain. Come on, shoot at me, really. Okay, so their ship's gone. And honestly, ion blasts really tend to wreck cloaking devices because they fire so fast, the cloaking device just doesn't last. Having the stealth weapons with when you have ion blast is just sexy. So I'm probably going to want to upgrade that cloaking device. But for now, level 1 cloak is absolutely fine. It answers the one problem I really have, which is going to be, um... Missiles. Do I have enough time? I'm going to risk it. What am I going to get here? Two drone parts for fuel, sure. And we get out in time. Definitely going to want that fuel. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and attempt to download the ship's data stores. I'm going to be attacked, that's fine. All it has that I care about is that missile launcher, and now I have the anti-missile. So, uh, not worried. Go ahead and dodge whatever fires at me. Kind of amazed with a 94% dodge chance that actually hit. Very pleased that we got the resist on that. I would have been actually a little bit upset if we didn't get the dodge. But uh, I'm very much of the opinion that we are going to win this pretty darn well. One more shot's going to take care of this thing. Let's go ahead and toss it at their cockpit. Why not? Excellent. Plenty of rewards. Going to go ahead and toss that into shields because I would now like to have the next level of shields. Uh, we got a Zoltan controlled sector. Uh, Going to go ahead and hit Zoltan because there is a definite chance of getting Crystal Crew Member on this uh, area. And this distress beacon could be it. Unfortunately, not going to be. Okay, so we're going to need to take out level 2 shields here. But we've been doing that fairly regularly. Let's go ahead and get these guys down here to stop that. And actually, let's get you into that room to stop that as well. Not going to have quite the normal uh, attack or, um, yeah, attack speed with my guns that uh, we have become used to. Those need to go heal. Kind of worried about that big gun there. Okay. You get in here. You two go fix that. Okay, so they're, uh, damn. That's concerning. Okay, you two get out. Or you get out. You two go in and see if you can fix that problem. Okay. You two out here. You med bay. But could have been scary. Enough micromanagement made it not as much. And uh, having a heavy ion blast in the middle of an asteroid belt, that's pretty nuts. Okay, so we're looking for distress beacons here. Got one right there. Come on, show me Crystal Crew Member. Not quite, but long-range sensors. That's definitely going to be good stuff right there. Participate in their study. Well, that's... That's a little bit disheartening. Honestly. Uh, getting the... Uh, that's the that was the Zoltan Research Facility, uh, which means that it's going to be unlikely that I'm actually going to get the Crystal Crew Member here, even if I do pick up the... Um, stasis pod, because that was the uh, research facility that I needed right there. Finding absolutely nothing here. Uh, go ahead. I'm just gonna, gonna do as many jumps as I can. Okay, these guys do not concern me. Even as bristling with guns as their ship is. My uh, ship bristles more. No, you're not allowed to hurt me. Definitely gonna want to get my, uh... Wow, come on, Ion Blast. Let's get some hits in, huh? Wow, three misses in a row. There's a hit. Okay, I need a, I need one more hit. Come on. Okay, maybe two more hits. Come on, let's get in there. Awesome, fire. Weapons are going offline. And that's the way we want this to go. Yeah, what I definitely want to do is I definitely want to start getting cloaking device upgraded so I can have the really super long cloaks. And th that sort of thing will definitely make it really pleasant for me to have this. Because I'll have these really long cloaks uh, destroy uh, 
Really super long cloaks destroy their shields while I'm cloaked up, and then when I come out, even when I'm in, still in, just heavy pierce away. Let's see. No, I'm not going to accept that surrender. Okay. Well, one more... No, two more shots is going to do it, but I'm okay with waiting for two more shots. Let's see. I like not having to use Cloak more than once, so I should probably do... Actually, you stay there. You need to finish healing up. Didn't even realize that they weren't uh, healed up there. Okay, go ahead and put uh, another point into power. Because we definitely need it. You get into weapons. Okay, now the next, uh, the next goal is going to be, of course... Uh, level three, uh... Wonderful. The next thing, of course, is going to be the level three, uh... Not level three, but the, uh, like, tier six engines. That's gonna be my next goal. Make sure that their ship does not get a chance to fire that big and scary missile. Looks like we're easily gonna win this fight. Let's take you out of there just so we can make sure to guarantee that win. And their ship has now been absolutely, completely, and utterly crippled. I don't even know if I'm going to need that second ion blast. Probably not, but for the final boss, it's going to be nice to have. And for later on sectors when they're going to have level 4 shields and all that's going to be very nice to have. Fights are a little bit slow when I'm only having the heavy pierce, but I think we're still good with it. Okay, let's jump over here. What are we finding here? Absolutely nothing, okay. Can I risk going here? No distress beacon. Get ourselves an NG. I'm actually thrilled to have an NG uh, as part of my uh, part of my retinue. Part of my crew here. Automated scout, wonderful. We're just gonna go ahead and cloak up any time it tries to fire that big gun of his. So, you know, all the power to him. Let's go ahead and ion blast his cloaking device as soon as that becomes available. I fired that a little bit early. Maybe I can take down the big weapon before it fires. Nope. Well, that sucks. That was completely my mistake there, guys. I, uh, completely botched that. It's cool. We're just gonna take down his weapons and we'll be done with it. And the Ion Blast is now online again. Go ahead and target his, uh, cloaking device as soon as he comes back out of cloak. Okay. Yeah, cloaking device is going to stay offline. That is uh, one of the downsides of the cloaking device. It's one you don't see very often. I don't think I've ever had it happen to me. But um, the I the uh, cloaking device, when it gets used, that cooldown time it's using, counts as ion damage. I think. As far as I'm aware. It looks like ion damage, at least. So I think there's a really significant chance that ion damage will just continue to make it horrible. Okay, let's get some attacks on this guy to actually hit, please. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Two more shots should take care of this guy. And yeah, the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking that the big thing I should be holding out for, the big weapon I would really love to see to finish this off and make me the most overpowered bastard ever, would be a uh, glaive beam. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go upgrade my cloaking and some power for that. So now we have level two cloaking. And things get just a little bit nicer for us. What am I going to find here? I'm going to find the exact ship that does not want to mess with me. I mean, this is it. This is this is the ship that fails when fighting me. I feel bad for it. I really do. Notice me, uh... Not even, well, not even do it playing well, but not even cloaking. That was actually a complete accident. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed up four instead of pressing, uh, uh, 
were pressing C, so I accidentally uh, unequipped Ion Blast instead of uh, cloaking up. So, wow, their weapons are uh, in severe need of help. I think that piercing, uh, piercing Blast is going to get another shot in their weapons even before they fire. That's exactly how that happened. Let's go ahead and take down their cockpit and finish them off. You know, I usually really like doing, like, the, uh, the boarding parties because they feel a little bit... They don't kill quite as fast, but you get a ton of rewards for them. I already feel rewarded with this. This, this, uh... This run is exactly what I needed right now. Yeah. Let's go ahead and jump to the exit. Unless there's a distress beacon right here, this is gonna be it. Oh, let's go ahead and buy fuel. Why not? I have the scrap. Any distress beacons? No? Okay, we're jumping to the next sector. So we got a rock-controlled sector and a rock-controlled sector. Still think it's pretty unlikely that we're going to be seeing the Crystal Crew member here, but a rock-controlled sector has the chance of spawning the stasis pod. So, you know, there's a chance that this could happen. So we are just, uh... Let's go ahead and slide that in there and absolutely miss. Go ahead and cloak up here. Let the Heavy Pierce do its job. Eventually. And their shields are completely offline. Took down the scary weapon, so I'm going to go ahead and shift my focus to the cockpit and stop the dodge chance, make sure, they're, uh, make sure their shields never come back online, and in general be a very, very scary person. Missiles, drone parts, scrap? No. I have 50 missiles. Actually, one of the things I would enjoy, if instead of that firebomb, a Pegasus missile. I have so many missiles, I could fire one missile at every ship we fight, uh, face from this point on and still have some left over. Probably two missiles. And that'll take care of it. We are doing extraordinarily well here. Let's go ahead and pop a point into weapons control. It's not something I could really do anything with right now. I could fire two Ion Blasts at once if I really desired, but uh, I don't think that's going to be particularly helpful. Got a teleporter, that's okay. If it wasn't for the, crew, or the cloaking device that I have, this enemy ship would actually be rather frightening to me. As is, though. Just another thing to kill. Dodge that. And that rock crew is absolutely gone. You two go back in here. Get you healed up. Now he does still have that missile launcher. And that is gonna get to fire again if I uh, am if my internal timing is correct. Let's see. Yeah, it had nothing to do with my inter internal timing, but everything to do with my inability to dodge anything worth a damn. God, they got the resist, but at least that missile launcher's down. You know, there, there's good and everything. And I'm just gonna ion blast their cockpit for now, because something tells me that shield is down for the rest of the fight. I would be altogether surprised if I was wrong. There we go. Let's go ahead and take out the rest of their stuff while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, the Ion Blast fires so fast, it's kind of sick. Wow, their shield came back a lot faster than I thought it would. Honestly. That, I mean, that said, the Ion Blast only tags for... What is it? I believe it's, uh, one Ion damage, or one tick of Ion damage per shot. And it takes... I forget how long it is. It's, uh... It's a really fast recharge, but I think it's like a three-second recharge. And there goes that. Okay. Got plenty of rewards. I'm going to need 90 to get the next jump up on uh, on my weapon control. Got a distress beacon up here, so I'm definitely interested in that. Anything here? No? What do I got here? No ship showing, so it's not going to be a stasis pod. It's going to be a stasis pod. Okay, I'm going to swap that out for long range. No. 
Yeah, long range. Well, no, let's swap that for rock plating, because I no longer need rock plating at this point. Okay, so we need to hope that the next uh, place we're going to pass through is either a Zoltan area. Let's delay the rebels. I'm okay with that. We're going to hope that the next sector we're going to pass through, that green sector, is going to be either a Zoltan sector or a uh, NG sector. And that past that, <coughs> the next sector is the Rock Homeworlds. I don't know how likely that is. <clears throat> We're gonna see. Bunch of dis uh, distress beacons. Got a scrap recovery arm that I'm gonna go ahead and just drop. Uh, I know that sounds absolutely nuts, and I agree with you. It's absolutely nuts. But I do not find myself needing a uh, scrap recovery arm right now. I feel absolutely fine with how we are. Sell 12 drones for 48 scrap. That is absolutely fine by me. I'm just going to go ahead and fire up the fire bombs. Ha, uh, I made a funny. Do I want to fight here on the sun? No. I do want to go to this location, though. And let's go rock ahead and put the rock crew member on the comm. Piss this guy off beyond all reasonable belief. And then uh, go ahead and fire up the ion blast. I'm also going to go ahead and toss a firebomb into his uh, crew teleporter as soon as that becomes available. Okay, one of you go help him. Have you pierced their weapons? Well, I'm not going to be able to dodge this. I'm probably, yeah, going to take that hit. Uh, that actually went to an exact place I did not want that to go, which is uh, annoying. You go ahead and swap out in favor of you. Let's go ahead and drop you. Gonna go ahead and undo the uh, firebomb, because I actually do not need it. You go ahead and go to the med bay. And you go into this room right now. Dodge that. You, med bay. In general, we're being really, really mean people. You get back in here. You out. By we, I mean I, and sending these humans in here to fight these Manti. You into there. They've left and are running, scared. You get in here. You two go heal up. I, lo I love playing round robin when I'm, uh when I'm doing this. It's it's fun. It really is. It is enjoyable to just keep on swapping people out over and over and over. Uh, every time your opponent thinks they won, you just go, nope, Chuck Testa. Ah, I made a reference. Anyways. Was starting to get annoyed with how often we happen to be missing, but uh, now we seem to have gotten off that track. Go ahead and toss that back in there. I can always do with two heavy ion blasts, or two ion blasts. I could always take down their uh, O2 and uh, shields permanently after taking down their weapons and just kill them that way. Be a really long and boring episode, though. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Sell five missiles for 45 scrap. You know what, sir? You have a deal. Uh oh. Oh no, that's wrong. I should not be allowed to do this. I should be punished for this. That is an asteroid field. Uh, do I have enough time? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna jump to one more beacon and then jump back. Absolutely nothing. Okay. We'll go ahead and go to the exit. This is absolutely stupid. This is the. This is just wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Unfortunately, that is a civilian sector, so we are not going to be seeing the uh, Crystal Crew member. Uh, this is the first time we've seen the stasis pod in a very long time, though. Okay, let's go ahead and attempt to download the ship's data stores. It didn't like that. That's cool. Whatever. Dude, you can cloak up all you want. You're not going to do any damage to me. It's just not going to happen. Ooh, scary. That, that, and heavy pierce to there. 
Wow, the fact that I'm just not getting any, uh... I'm not getting any damage here. I also have no idea what that sound is. Hmm. Getting an abnormal amount of misses here, which is uh, concerning me just a little bit. But we're going to be able to get our weapons back online, basically by the time this guy comes back out of that. Go ahead and dodge that shot that he's shooting at me. Really wish that... Okay, that works. I was going to say, I really wish that Heavy Pierce hadn't been set on auto fire and firing back quickly, but uh, let's go ahead and switch that over to here. And Heavy Pierce to their cockpit. Okay. This ship just hit the permanently offline state. Because it's never going to get to do anything again. Yeah, it's going to get to fire a couple of times, but uh, I have so much ion flying at it. I was trying to think of a pun to make there, and I just, I, I failed, I'm sorry. Wonderful. Well, that's how most of the fights are going to go from here on out. Let's go ahead and start upgrading our uh, engines. Not going to even bother going there. So at this point, it's just building up. No, that would be a bad trade. At this point, it's just building up supplies, building up our ship, and uh, preparing to beat the ever-loving crap out of uh, the final boss. It's another teleporting ship. Putting in stark relief the fact that I really should at some point get myself some door control. Because that is something I actually still do not have. Let's go ahead and just dodge that last shot. Didn't want to risk taking that damage. Uh, this can go here. And now their weapons are basically going to be offline uh, for the remainder of the fight. Those two have run. You two into the med bay. But yeah, that's uh, that's a complete and utter victory right now. Wow, just the sheer amount of stupid damage that we're dealing to this. The ion damage is uh, the really stupid thing. Unfortunately, we can't kill with ion damage, and that's why I intend to get something to replace that heavy pierce. Uh, that, uh, does a little bit more. Because some of these fights are taking a little bit too long for my standards. Zap, zap. Okie dokie. In my head, I have a joke running that uses the word ionic instead of ironic, but I know that would not go over well. Hey, look! Tons and tons of scrap! Okay. Wow, would you look at all of these uh, environmental hazards they're throwing at me. You two into there. Fix that while we just wait for our en engines to charge. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jump, let's try speaking. I'm, so I'm gonna do this even while these two are on my ship. Shield their ship with mine. Unfortunately, because we are uh, we no longer had the rock plating. We couldn't do get the blue option for that. And you guys better not lose this fight. We did. Wow. You know what? I ain't even mad. I'm not sure how that happened. I guess we got some. They got some lucky rolls on that one, but uh, whatever. My NG wins. And that is how much I don't care. Let's go ahead and up our power consumption here. Get our ship ready to, uh, you know, do the big fights. What are we gonna find here? Okay. Uh, this is a, sh a battle I'm not particularly worried about. Yes, that is a uh, level two anti-ship drone. But as you can see, uh, we are... They're gone. Go ahead and cloak up just so I can ensure that everything on their ship goes away. But, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're good. At this point, I could potentially speed run towards the final boss. Uh, there's nothing stopping me. And there's actually nothing I need to do anymore. Uh, unfortunately, a... 
a weapon's pre-igniter would not actually work here. Which is kind of a shame, actually, because it would be really cool to have one for this. But uh, it wouldn't work. We wouldn't... Well, I mean, it would work. We wouldn't be able to get that achievement. There's not enough damage. I'm still in my head trying to figure out what type of ship you could use to get that type of damage. And uh, the only thing I'm able to come up with is uh, a Glaive Beam and a Pegasus Missile against a very small un or, uh, scout craft. And then just Pegasus Missile their shield and then Glaive Beam their entire ship and be done with it. That's the, basically one of these is what I'm talking about. But that's, that's basically the only thing I can think of that would actually be able to get that achievement. I don't know, maybe I'm being uncreative. Go ahead and dodge that. 108% dodge chance. Doing my work for me. And these guys are not going to be able to do anything for the rest of the fight. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, relax. Okay, so we're about... Uh, let's see, what was this? Sector 6? I think it's a Sector 6. So we're getting pretty close to the end. This is a pretty good run altogether. Again, this is exactly what I needed, which is a very, uh, very easy and enjoyable and altogether successful run. Okay, that's good. And we got a ton of rewards. Gonna go ahead. What do I want to upgrade right now? Um, probably that. That sounds like a good upgrade to me. Wow, the sheer... Okay, I'm gonna go to this asteroid field, because the sheer amount of uh, environmental disasters we have seen uh, in this sector has been just absolutely stone-cold fuck nuts. That's the word I used, I am sticking to it. I'm gonna go ahead and dodge those uh, ions, because I do not want uh, this ship to be able to ion me. And actually, that ship's gonna be completely shut down in just a few moments. Did those two drones actually smack into each other and destroy themselves? Because if so, that was awesome. It needs to happen more often. Still looking for a weapon to replace that firebomb. Tons of rewards. Let's go ahead and go to the store. Why not? You know, we could get something here, I guess. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna get the door system. Just because I can. Not because I think it's gonna be particularly useful, and also not because I think I'm going to need it, but because I can, and because we, I don't think we ever have. Okay, let's accept this guy's proposal. We've got a new crew member. We've got another human because he apparently has not learned about how, exactly how bad it is to be a human crew member on my ship. This could be bad. Yeah, this is definitely bad. Uh, this that thing is shooting down every single one of my attacks so far. Okay, I hit one. I hit with one. Okay, heavy pierce. There we go. Okay, feeling pretty. I'm feeling better about it now. God, I need to hit with something. Come on. It's a little bit ridiculous. I swear. Let's go ahead and see if I can take that thing out. Nope. So if it's not one thing, it's another. It's the, the, the inability to actually hit this thing is going to be a very sore point for me for a while. Okay, awesome. That's all. That's added, that is literally all I needed to see is to take that defense drone down. And now we're going to take this ship down with absolutely no problems. But man, that defense drone was an absolute pain in the ass for just a few moments. How about you two go fix that? That sounds like a good idea. Go ahead and take out their weapons. They're gonna offer me stuff that I'm absolutely not gonna take. Let's go ahead and start taking out their uh, cockpits. That way I'm not gonna have to deal with any dodge chance. Unfortunately, that damn drone is back online. And the ion blasts are now firing out of sync and I'm not quite sure why. All 
Okay, that uh, drone is now out. And annoyingly enough, not dead. It's okay, they're gone. Or should be. It's okay, I'll win eventually. Should be right about now. Thank you. Okay, and missiles, drone parts, and scrap are absolutely excellent. Let's go ahead and pump our pa uh, pump up the volume again, pump up the power. And uh, I think I should have enough time to jump to this location and into the exit. Let's go ahead and attack this ship. It's got a boarding drone. Which is not incredibly nice for my health. But depending on how much of these hit, I might actually be able to take out their drone control before that boarding drone gets a chance to do anything. That is my hope, and that's actually how I'm hoping to t uh, take care of the uh, final boss's boarding drone, too. Well, that's ex basically exactly how that happened, too. So that boarding drone is now drifting aimlessly in space. And this ship was basically taken offline before it even had a chance to do anything. Level three, uh, level three cloaking devices are kind of like their your own personal uh, weapon pre-igniters. So at this point, the only sore spot. Yes. Automated reloader. Would you like to shoot your guns faster? Yes. Go ahead and jump to the next sector, which is going to be the Mantis Homeworlds Rock Control Sector. Didn't have a Rock uh, Homeworlds anyways. Well, that sucks. We'll go ahead and screw around in a Rock Controlled Sector as we gradually make our way uh, to the final boss. It's almost leisurely in a way. Go ahead and get stuff. And I'm going to see if I can build up a decent amount of scrap before going to that store. See if I can get something really nice. And from the way the scrap is flowing right now, I think that's going to be a definite possibility. Okay, what am I going to get here? It's a fight. You know, I see these, you know, normally level 4 shields would be an issue for me if I didn't have missiles. But right now, it's comical how much we don't care. Like, we really don't. We don't care about this. And now I'm going to gradually start changing it where my ion blasts are going. This ship's going to be taken offline. And uh, we're the, sh the battle's already done. The battle was done when the first ion blast fired, you know? Again, I could be really evil and just start focusing on their O2, but there's no point. I say that as I casually aim my shots towards their O2. Just a matter of what you can fix. Just with the Ion Blasts going. What I really would like is one time, maybe I should try to see if I can set up a run where I get two Ion Blast Mark IIs and a heavy Ion, because I think that's going to be eight points, and try to beat every ship just taking out their O2 and forcing them to die that way. It'd be really funny. We would be, be we would leave every ship 100% uh, healed behind us. The only problem is we'd have no answer to uh, uh, automated drones. But it would be funny. Okay, what do we got at this store? Anything nice? Stealth weapons, which we already have. Drone control, which we don't care about. Crew teleport, which we don't care about. Uh, reverse ion field that we don't really care about. Let's go ahead and drop uh, the damage stasis pod because now we can't use it. Uh, and I'm gonna hold on to this scrap with the hopes of another store nearby that would have something a little bit nicer. Let's go ahead and fight this ship. I don't know what I'm hoping for, but uh, something. Man, those ion blasts fire terrifyingly fast. Switch one of these over to here. We already have a really good hit rate. It's kind of ridiculous how uh, accurate those things were for the very start of that fight. Now, of course, now we have 100% accuracy because we have now taken down their cockpit, but... How are you going to run, exactly? You can't run. You can't go anywhere. You're just going to sort of sit there and watch, I guess. I don't know. 
guess the captain's just sort of sitting there in the cockpit, staring at the window and going, well, I can't see anything because there's so much electricity all over my cockpit, but I'd like to run. Not gonna accept that surrender. I don't know, I'm not gonna say my, uh... I'm not gonna say that my... Uh... Ship is perfect, but I think it's really damn good. All I need... It's, just, it's that firebomb. That firebomb is the absolute weakest link here. Anything good with the stress beacon? Not really. Let's go to the store. Show me something nice. Hmm. That's nice. Okay, well, we're gonna fire really, really, really goddamn fast, and I'll be able to fire firebombs at their entire ship. Do I want drone control? You know what, I might as well, do I want the, do I? Yeah, I might as well buy the crew teleporter. I mean, this really is a might as well. Oh, hey, look, it's a sun. Okay, sure. Guys, I don't think you realize who I am. I'm the guy with Ion Blast that fired less uh, at a uh, speed of more than once per second, I think. I don't know. I haven't been clocking them. I have Ion Blast that fire far too often. You two go fix that. What I need to do is I need to upgrade to level... Uh, level three doors because then I can just turn off the O2 and just let every fire burn itself out with absolutely no risk of repercussions. I love fights like this. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get out before that happens, but that, that's cool. Go to the exit. Attack the slaver scum. Oh, to nose. I attacked the slavers. They could have given me free slaves. That sucks. Weapons are offline. It was basically doing what at this point has become the normal strategy. Ion blast, ion blast, and heavy pierce. Not a fast strategy, and actually I was thinking we maybe we were going to be like on a fast track to one of my fastest runs ever. But we're at a minute set or a minute seven. Yeah, we've been playing this game for a minute now. We're at an hour seven at this point. And uh You know, I think my fastest run was uh an hour. I'm okay with this. That's absolutely fine by me. I think my fastest run clocked in at an hour. So it's because this heavy pierce just isn't firing fast enough. We're not getting any weapons that actually uh do I got any stores? No? Let's open to see a store of some sort. Yeah, we're at an hour seven. We're just not, uh... We're not killing quickly, is the thing. We're doing a lot of damage to whatever we fight, and uh, we're doing it in a fairly safe way. So, I, you know, we have little to no risk of us actually getting killed here, but we're killing very, very extraordinarily slowly. Uh, apparently, I fired that a little bit too late. That's cool. We'll take a little bit of damage. I'll kind of laugh it off. Okay, you go, heal up. And now they're, yeah, they're just there. I mean, look, look at this. This has been every fight since I got a uh, full Ion Blasts online. I mean, honestly, this has been every fight since we uh, got one Ion Blast online, to be honest. Taking little to no damage the entire time. And honestly, when I got to level six in uh, weapons, I could have probably done just uh, two ion blasts, just taking enemy ships offline, and then eventually switch over to heavy pierce. But I didn't really think about it. Show me a store. No. Okay, what about over here? Is there a store over here? Store. No? What about over here? Is there a store over here? Like, if it, I'll just... I'll pump all of this into, uh... Sure. I'll pump all of this... In, all this scrap into my ship if need be. I don't have any problem doing that. But I was kind of hoping I'd be able to get some weapon that would make these fights faster. 
I don't know if that was at all effective what I just did, but... Okay, so this is another one of those fights that, no. We're gonna go into the final boss fight with full health. Uh, I am a little bit doubtful that I'll be leaving the final boss fight with full health on the first stage. Little doubtful. Not entirely sure, but... It's like a mix between the Little Rascals and Mrs. Doubtfire. The Little Doubtfuls. Okay. Gradually waiting on this. I like the uh, Ion Blaster synchronized. I mean, they should have been the entire time anyways, but, you know, it's just cool to hear them land right that and have the game struggle to make that sound right. Even a fight like this, where they have a cloaking device, usually I hate cloaking devices on auto scouts. It makes them so hard to get going. But we just have the exact... Please, let me reach it! Let me reach it in time! Please! No. There was the store, and here is the fight. Okay. You get down here. Well, so much for uh, powering up our ship in any way. Okay, let's do the normal thing. I just want that ship off. I, I want that weapon offline. Let's go ahead and also put that into there. I'm not really concerned. I just want that weapon offline so I don't have to deal with it. Okay, now that's offline. Now I'm going to gradually shut down everything they have. And this is basically going to be one of the easiest boss fights we've ever had. I'm actually going to withdraw these guys because they're no longer needed. They weren't needed in the first place, actually, which is the funny thing. Wow, they got that cloaking... To wow, how did that happen? Is there... Is their cockpit shut down to such degree that I can, I have 100% accuracy even though they were cloaked? Is that how that works? Because that is ridiculously cool if that's what's going on. This is this is ridiculous. This this is this is too easy. I mean, we may have there may be a chance of damage on the next fight. But I doubt it. We're going to see, though. I'm going to, because th this store is gone, unfortunately, the store is not here, because this guy got here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my ship in full. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I can't do that. Wow. Okay. Guess we'll do that then. Okay, you two go get in your positions. You're not going anywhere, but I'd like you to at least be there. And we'll go and chase this guy. 60 missiles, and I'm never going to use a single one. Just going to cloak up so that way I can take out their uh, drone control unit before that... Uh, before... Ah, damn. I was hoping to do that before the boarding drone was able to actually get to me. But uh, I guess I'll have to do it this way. Okay. Am I concerned about this? Not really. Let's go ahead and do this like this. Yeah, their drone control is going to be completely offline in just a second. There we go. Now that I'm a little bit concerned about, I could... Yeah, I took one damage. You know, damn. But, uh... You know, this this falls under, oh well, you know? Just, oh well, I took a point of damage. I was hoping to go through this without taking any damage whatsoever. And it's a shame that that's not going to happen. But I can't be really upset about that. Let's see if I can get through this without taking any more damage. There's potential for it. 
There is serious potential for not taking a single point of damage past that one point. And honestly, that's only because I was focusing on that boarding drone instead of focusing on taking their weapons down. If I had taken that weapon down, we would still be at no damage. So, wonderful fight. Very cool. Very awesome. There we go. That's two. Anything I want to upgrade? Why not? Let's upgrade the doors. I said I was going to, and I have. Okay, final fight. And the thing that makes this fight so hard, that super shield, is trivial. I mean, there's nothing there. If my ion blasts actually start hitting, this thing goes down like a... Sports reference is failing me. But, like, it... We win. I mean... That guy's dead. That guy's dead. We're... Fine. We even dodged that shot. Without even trying to dodge it, mind. We just we just dodged that because I happened to have that online. And we win. So yeah, being able to get two ion blasts online, even if you have one of the weakest... I mean, the heavy... Uh, he, don't get me wrong. The heavy pierce is a pretty strong weapon. Two damage and shield uh, and ignoring shield uh, at any point in the game is pretty strong. But... This is not exactly a, diff or a, a heavy weapon. I mean, it's just, it does, what, two damage per shot? Yeah, that's it. So, but two Ion Blasts basically... Oh, okay, sure. Two Ion Blasts just does it. It really does. I'm not sure how we killed the crew. Did, like, did the, the, did the rogue AI just kill them because it got pissed at how ineffective they were? This should be shield. No, interesting. I was actually kind of expecting that to be uh, the super shield coming back online because it's due. But that's it. That's the final boss. Uh, pretty good run on the Sheevan. I don't think it's going to come in at the best run we've ever done, but uh, certainly one of the strongest. Neat. Flagship was destroyed. Blah, 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 blah. Go ahead and escape out of this. 472. Uh... Doesn't even put it on the top Sheevan run. Actually, surprisingly enough, the top Sheevan run was a run that we didn't even win. Which is kind of interesting. But uh, still, didn't get the uh, weapon pre-igniter yet. And uh, have not unlocked every playable ship. Still work on that Crystal Cruiser. But that was tremendously fun. Uh, that doesn't even hit the top five either. That was tremendously fun. I really enjoyed that, and that was exactly the type of run that I needed uh, to just get me back to the swing of things, let me enjoy the game again. So I appreciate that game. Thank you. We'll go back to hating each other next episode, and I'll see you guys soon.